welcome back. Today uh, we're going to try and fix up this uh, John Deere Model 10 trailer a little bit as I promised in the part 1 video. Um, first thing we're going to do is put a tube in this tire. It doesn't hold air right now so we're going to put a tube in it. The other, the other tire is fine. It has a tube in it and it holds air. Next we're going to straighten out the gate here in the back. Maybe fix up the hinges a little bit. Then uh, straighten out the front here because it's bent. And then uh, we're just gonna sand down the rough spots a little bit, like here and in the back, and uh, put some uh, fresh paint on it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sand down the whole thing because it's in pretty good condition, and uh, I like to leave it that way and only uh, fix up the fix up the rusty areas. So let's do it. C clip, and the washer, and it should come off, I think. Take the valve out, make sure there's no air in it at all. Okay. Now let's try to uh, let's try to break the bead off of this thing. Let's see. Okay. This one was pretty easy. Some can be quite quite difficult. So Smaller two screwdriver. There we go. That's better. Now it should be easier. All right. One side. So, I think that's all we need to do. I'll take the, uh, take the stem out and uh, I'm gonna put the tube in. And just cut it off, I guess. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Good. All right, here's the tube. Stem through right there. Work the tube around. Actually, before I put the tube on the rim, I'll put the rest of it. I'm gonna try to put the rest of it inside. Maybe that's gonna be easier inside a tire. Just like that. Work it slowly until it's inside. Okay. Almost. Pull it from the other side a little bit. Almost there. Okay. There we 
to go. Now, just gotta find that stem because it came out. Put it back in there. It's right there. Go get a zip tie, zip tie this so it doesn't come out anymore. I'm gonna put a little bit of air in the tube so it kind of um, starts to sit properly on the inside, and if it doesn't, I'll since the tire is still off, I'll, I'll make sure it sits nicely inside the tire and on the rim. Kind of feel it on the inside and make sure it's straight. Yeah. yeah, it looks to be pretty straight on the rim. Okay, which is good. Take the rest of the air out, or I'll take the needle out, and, uh, and then I'll uh, put the tire back on the rim. Okay. Grab too much as you go along because it won't work. Sure that the tube is not pinched anywhere. Gonna put the needle back in. Give it some air. I guess I'll maybe I'll give it a little soap and water so it slides up easier. PSI. Looks uh, 
uh, looks good. Cut the zip tie off. It's uh, ready to go. Washer and uh, C clip. go all right so tie is all set next let's uh, let's try and straighten out this uh, gate a little bit first I'm gonna try a rubber mallet let's see what we can do Maybe I should take it off. Let's take it off. That's pretty good. So, a lot of this paint chipping off. I respray this. Clean that off. Now, okay. So that's good. Now these. These little locks here. Let's see if we can take these off and I'm gonna let that sit for a second, a few minutes, and try taking them off. I'm also gonna take these off. So I'll give him a little spray while I wait for the DW40 to kind of penetrate a little bit of those bolts. I'm gonna go up front. And, uh, straighten this one out a little bit. Now this one, I can't take that off because it's welded. Uh, there are a couple of couple of bolts here holding the bottom in place, so I'm gonna spray those two. This side also. So it's gonna soak. And now I can uh, straighten out a little bit this uh, this section too. Let's try the rubber mallet first. A little bit.
Let's see if we can take the bots off the off the gate. I leave these on there, just clean them up right on the gate since they're so hard to take off. Quite a bit, quite a bit of rust on there. Unless I heat them up, maybe. These. Let's give these a try. Yeah, those are stuck also. like these brackets had something here that broke off but hmm. well at least got that one off let's try the other one are pretty flat now so what I'm gonna do is probably when I reassemble this is put a washer on this side washer on that side kind of reinforce this uh, sheet metal there also the same on the other side and I think that should be good now these let's see if they come off when I uh, we heat these up Let's see about 
this one. Alright, so I'm gonna take uh, off both sides and uh, and then uh, I'll come back. So, got the hardware off, both sides, right there, right there. So I'm gonna clean them up and then sand down the gate a little bit on the edges and uh, put some fresh paint on there. So, but that's good. So, next thing is to take these off. Okay, that one goes too. And then the two on the front. And uh, I think I'll have to heat these up too and, uh, and take them off. So once I have that off, um, we can uh, we can sand, uh, sand the rusty spots and uh, put some new paint on there. Okay, let me take these off and then uh, we'll come back. Now that all the hardware is off, um, off the back and also off the front, took those two bolts out which held the bracket uh, that was up here in front. Was, uh, let's see, that was this one. So that was the bracket that was on there. So I took that off with those two bolts. Now it's all clear, I can uh, clean all this up up front, in the back, and uh, put some uh, fresh paint on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and uh, show you what it looks like that looks like after I'm done. All right, here we go. This is what we uh, ended up with. As you can see, I've cleaned off most of the rust, the edges, so in the back here. Um, that looks worse on the camera than it actually is, I guess, but most of the rust is off. And you see right there. So, what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is, uh, wipe this down and uh, spray some uh, green color on this all right okay <clears throat> here's the uh, underside so there's a couple of so I'm gonna do this first there's a couple of spots that I need to do so see this edge here that's nicely sanded I'm gonna do that and a couple of spots here on the bottom uh, so I may even uh, spray just a tiny bit of primer on some of these um, main areas there and uh, we'll see how it goes. I think that's pretty good. We'll give it a few minutes and then uh, we'll get the green out. All right, here we go. I'll already put some green on this corner. So let's do the rest of it. <coughs> well, it looks like it's not 100% uh, match, but I hope once we put it should be, but maybe once we put a couple of coats, it might uh, it might look better. So I'll go ahead and do that, and I'll uh, show you uh, how it looks at the end. Okay, here we go. Green is on there. 
Yeah, it's not 100% the same, but I don't care. It, uh, it looks good to me. Um, it's gonna protect, protect the metal, and um, that's all I care about. So let's do the uh, let's do the top now. There's that edge also. Looks pretty good. All right, so let's uh, flip the trailer over, and uh, we'll do the top. A little bit of primer first. Give it a couple of, couple of minutes and then uh, we'll do the green. I'm gonna go go ahead and finish this and uh, I'll pretty much show you uh, in the end uh, what it looks like. All right, here is one coat. One more and uh, should be good. Okay, here's the second coat finished. Uh, came out pretty good. I definitely did a little bit more than I wanted to. Pretty much painted the bed entirely because I um, thought the paint wouldn't match uh, quite good, but actually it's matching pretty good. So yeah, paint uh, matches pretty good. You can kind of see here. Uh, the old paint is and the new paint is tiny tiny bit different but overall pretty good so the gate also painted the gate looks great also painted the hardware and the bolts um, gonna have to replace a couple of them because they were too far gone but uh, not too bad so I'm gonna go ahead and put this together and uh, I'll show you uh, what it looks like in, uh, in the end And the last piece. There you go, finished. Okay, it looks pretty good. I got the hinges adjusted so it uh, opens. Close is nice, nice and smooth. And the rest of it looks uh, pretty good. All right, that was fun. Uh, let's hook it up to the tractor and uh, see how it looks.